Hi. This one's going to be about the Ego Heart Center. And hello, I'm Doris. Now, where is it at in the chart? Right there. It's the red one. The red box. The little triangle. Now this one, oh, there's a lot of stuff on this one and you need to listen up about this one. Now, mine solid. It means it's defined. 35% of the world is defined and the 65% is not. But this one is something that... Um, you got to listen up on this one. It has the 21, which goes straight to the heart. As you notice with mine, I'm missing right there. I'm missing the 21. Now, I have the 45 up here, which is the voice box. So I have the voice box, yes. I have the 45. I have the um, lit up ego, but I'm missing the that one right there, the 21. Now, how important is that? Well, bit, what I'm finding out is very important because um, you're not allowed to make promises. Because if it's clear, if your if your um, ego box is clear, white or any of those lines going up to up to the voice box any of them are clear that means you have a broke a broke in the lines and um, the it would be like going to a store and buying something and not having the money but still getting it a promise is there's nothing in the bank you don't have a bank to hold any promises and that's a crime now what what area does that cover? Well, that's your heart. That's that's your heart right there. And the um the twenty one is the is the hunter on my on my stuff. How many times in the world have you heard somebody say, I promise? I promise. I promise to um, to love you to the end and the, the divorce rate. How many numbers are, are that? I promise to eat right. I promise to stick to my diet. I promise to, to stop doing that. Holy crap. If these people are lost energy the day they broke, that's just like, as soon as you said that word, it's kind of like, I got you. I got you there. Um... That's a hard energy. That's something you don't mess with. Now, you notice I put the baby food on, on the front. I listened to, I believe it was Kelly. Kelly said that she did have a little hole, a little, little hole in the heart. Her doctor uh, told her to eat some baby food. I'm not recommending brand name baby food, maybe off brand, but she said the vitamins in there, it helped her. And um, when her doctor looked at her again, her she found he found um, improvements. Not sure how that worked. I never um, heard of that. There's people in my in my family that I lost, like my mother, with heart problems. And I wish I would have knew this little tidbit a long time ago. We would have tried anything to keep her alive. And I would never let her say the word I promise. And according to this, I'm not allowed to say it either. You just can't do it. I don't know where in the world did that just come, that come at, come naturally, that comes out of everybody's mouth. But according to human design, you should never say that because you don't have, um, if any of those lines are broke, if your throat chakra is empty, or, or the 45, or the 21, or the ego, the red triangle, any of it's broke, you're not allowed to say it. I, I wouldn't take a chance. Don't say that word. We're going to have to change the way, we, the way we talk, the way we respond, the way we um, throw that out there. Because... 
that's a major problem in America. And who knows um, what difference does it make? It doesn't matter. If we can, if you know somebody that um, that has a break in any of the, any of those lines, protect them and don't let them say the word I promise. Don't let them say the words I'm not good enough. That's how they're going to feel. Because once they break a promise, they're going to feel like that, and that ego is going to drain that energy out of that, out of that, um, out of that gate, or out of that area. That's scary. So let's go through the other stuff. Um, you got the the fifty one going to your gallbladder. You've had the. The 26 go into your T cells, your thyroid, thyroid gland, and you got the 40 go into your stomach. Major, this is a major area. Um, it's called the heart ego. And there's 65% of the world who doesn't have this clear, cleared in red. So we're going to have to change the way the world acts. You can't do it all, all. Do it with your family. Start out there. I'll put the baby picture of the baby food on the front of this poster. Maybe if you listen to this, you you might remember to come to set. If you want to find this tape fast, look for the baby picture for the baby food. But um, energy loss anywhere it is awful, but. As I'm looking at my chart, it's straight out of the heart. And um, that's an area that I would like to keep healthy. So when you have um, your ego, your heart center, the people who have it not cleared in feel that they're not good enough. That pressure that message goes through them. That's just, if they have it, say, hey, you are good enough. That's just, you're just here. That's just, a, it's right to, you should feel it because it's empty. But don't believe it. Don't believe that, that for a second, even though you feel it. Always ensure them that they are good enough. And, um, because that would haunt that that feeling will haunt them if this if this ego center is clear so I'll always let them know that they do a good job and um, don't let them don't let them say make that commitments they can't make commitments now don't try to say I can't get you know when you say, like, I'm going to get married, that's, you say, I do. You don't have to say, I promise. But when it comes to shaking the man's hand when you bought a house, you know, or making a deal that the universe later on, it could fall back on. It hurts them hard. And it comes out of that area. So let's watch that. All right, there's your hard ego, and um, I hope you learned something from it. Thank you.